Hello there, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Wrestling Roundup. And as I'm filming this today, it is Halloween. So everybody, have a happy Halloween. And enjoy this spooky edition of Wrestling Roundup. It's actually really not that spooky, but let's get started. So last Sunday was Hell in a Cell. It was a very good pay-per-view. Here are the results. Dolph Ziggler retained the Intercontinental Championship against Cesaro in a 2 out of 3 falls match, where Dolph Ziggler got 2 straight falls in a row and Cesaro got 0. Nikki Bella defeated her sister Brie, so now Brie will have to be Nikki's personal assistant for 1 month. Gold and Stardust retained the WWE Tag Team Championship against the Usos. John Cena and Randy Orton fought inside Hell in a Cell to determine the number 1 contender for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Who do you think won? Rusev defeated Big Show. Sheamus retained the United States Championship against The Miz. AJ retained the Divas Championship against Paige. And Seth Rollins defeated Dean Ambrose inside one of the greatest Hell in a Cell matches in the past 10 years. However, Seth Rollins didn't do it alone. He had help as Bray Wyatt returned and attacked Dean Ambrose. Speaking of Rollins, the night, next night on Raw, Randy Orton came out and delivered a RKO to Seth Rollins. That same night on Raw, Mark Henry turned on the Big Show, delivering three World's Strongest Slams. The Authority tried once again to get John Cena to join them. You can imagine how that went. So because Cena declined, Triple H announced that there would be a traditional Survivor Series match at Survivor Series. It will be Team Authority versus Team Cena. None of the teams are really solidified, but it appears that Dolph Ziggler will be on Team Cena. Bo Dallas went to the ring and issued an open challenge. Who answered? The big guy. Ryback is back, and he squashed Bo Dallas. Nikki Bella won the Divas Costume Battle Royal on SmackDown, making her the number one contender for the Divas Championship. Also on SmackDown, Rusev and Lana made it clear that they were coming for Sheamus' United States Championship. And it's about time. WWE announced that Daniel Bryan does indeed need another surgery, and he could be out up to a year. We now know that John Cena is the number one contender for the WWE World Heavyweight title, but he obviously won't be facing Lesnar at Survivor Series. It looks like he'll be fighting him at the Royal Rumble. Also, Roman Reigns is still planned to headline WrestleMania. Rumor has it that at Survivor Series, there might be a multi-team tag match for the tag team titles. Not sure if it'll be a tag team turmoil, a fatal four-way tag, we'll have to see. But I think that'd be a good idea. Except there's only like three tag teams. Rumor going around is that the Elimination Shaper pay-per-view, that is in February, will be gone and moved to June. And a new pay-per-view will be in February called WWE Fast Lane. It sounds incredibly gay, but I uh, guess we'll have to see what it is. Rumor going around is that The Undertaker is working at NXT on limited dates as an advisor. And rumor has it that former WWE Divas champion, Eve Torres, might be returning to the WWE. I'll believe it when I see it. So thank you for watching this edition of Wrestling Roundup. Have a happy Halloween, and I'll see you next week. Damn!